let's do another example of repeated roots. So again, you can write this inverse Laplace. Notice that's three. So you want to call them K1 or K3. Let's do match the power there. S plus seven cubed plus K2 over S plus seven squared plus K1 over S plus seven. To find K3, it's going to be one over zero factorial times the derivative to the zero, which means really there is no derivative. Let's make this six S actually. Oh uh, yep. Times S plus seven cubed times V S. This is your V S. when s equals negative 7. So now this one cancels that. 0 factorial is 1. 6 times 7 is negative 42. To find k2, it's 1 over 1 factorial times the derivative the first derivative here, you want to put 1, that's fine, of s plus 7 cubed times 6s over s plus 7 cubed. As s equals negative 7. Again, what's the derivative 6s? 6, 6. So that's 1 factorial is 1 times the derivative of 6s, which is 6, as s equals negative 7, and that's actually 6. And what is k3? It's 1 over 2 factorial times the second derivative now. Of s plus 7 cubed times 6s over s plus 7 cubed. Now, notice these guys will cancel each other. We know the first derivative happens to be 6. So the second derivative is going to be 0. So 1 over 2, 2 factorial is 2, times the second derivative 6s, which is 0, as s equals negative 7, and that's actually a 0. So now you want to find the inverse Laplace. The inverse Laplace of 6s over s plus 7 cubed. If you do partial fractions and you rewrite that, that's going to be the inverse Laplace of k3. And we said k3 is negative 42 over s plus 7 cubed. plus k2. What's k2? k2, where'd you go? Negative, I mean 6, not negative. 6 over s plus 7 squared. Again, we can actually take each one of these or break it down to individual pieces. So that's the inverse Laplace. And I'm going to factor the negative 42 of the first one. So here's the negative 42. The inverse Laplace of 1 over s plus 7 cubed. Plus the 6 times the inverse Laplace of 1 over s plus 7 squared.
Now, the rule I'm going to be using is this one, the inverse Laplace of 1 over s plus alpha or a, whatever you want to use it, to the power of n is equal to t to the n minus 1 over n minus 1 factorial. I made that too big here. I don't need that to be that big. e to the minus alpha t u sub t. That's the rule I'm going to be using. So for this one, n is 3. So as the negative 42, let's find the inverse Laplace of 1 over s plus 7 cubed. That's going to be t to the power of 2 over 2 factorial times e to the power of negative 7t, u sub t. Here is the 6. Let's find the inverse Laplace of that. n here is 2. So that's times t to the power of 2 minus 1, which is 1, over 1 factorial e to the minus 7t u sub t. 2 factorial is 2, 42 over 2, negative 21, t squared e to the negative 7t u sub t. 1 factorial is 1, that's 6t, e to the minus 7t, u sub t. So if you want to factor e to the minus 7t outside, so you can write that. I like to begin with the plus 6t minus 21t squared, u sub t. And that's my f or v of t, whatever that expression happens to be, voltage, cur current, whatever you want it to be. But that's how you deal with repeated roots.